this is a continuous, continuation of the same problem that we started in aggregate, aggregate planning number one video. Again, we've got the demand for the skis over four quarters, 50,000 pairs, 150,000 pairs, 200,000 pairs, and 52,000 pairs of skis. In the first video, we did the transportation problem where we assumed that it was okay to have overtime and subcontracting. In this video, we're going to discuss two different strategies, the first one being the level production strategy and the second one being the chase production strategy. In the level production, we assume that we're going to produce the same amount in every quarter. So if our total demand is 452,000, that means that divide that by four and we get 113,000 pairs for every quarter of regular production. And then we're going to carry over inventory and hire and fire workers to compensate for this. Now recall originally we had 50 workers who could produce 1,000 pairs of skis per quarter. So our regular production was 50,000. So what we need to do in the first quarter is hire 63 more workers to get our production up from 50,000 pairs of skis to 113,000 pairs of skis. So in the first quarter we incur the cost of hiring 63 workers. Now let's assume that the cost to hire these workers is $100, and when we fire workers, in the next example, let's assume that the cost for firing is $400. So if we produce 113000 in the first quarter, we're going to carry over inventory of 63000 Okay? Uh, and remember the cost to carry over was $3 per quarter. We won't have to back order. And uh, so we'll carry it that 63, we'll produce 113, so we'll have 176 ready to go out, and our demand is 150,000. So we're carrying over inventory of 26,000 in the second quarter. Now recall in the third quarter we had 200,000 units. If we carry over this 26 together with this 113, that's 139. So we're short by 61,000 pairs of skis. We're assuming that we can compensate by back ordering them, that we have patient customers. But recall that we incur a cost of $10 per pair that we back order. In the fourth quarter, our demand is 52,000, but we still produce 113. And that 113 then will cover the 52,000 plus the 61 that we've back ordered. So the total cost, we've got 452 times 50 uh, for the regular production is 22,600,000. We've got 89 times 3, uh, 89,000 times 3 for the inventory that we're carrying over. And we've got uh, 61 times 10, 610,000 for the back order plus the cost of hiring these 63 workers at $100 a piece, that's 6.3K right there. So when we add it all up, the cost of this plan is $23,483,300. Again, that's with level production, we're assuming no overtime, no subcontracting, and all regular production of $50 per unit. Okay, the chase strategy assumes that we do not have level production. We produce exactly what our demand is. So in the first quarter, we've got 50,000 units of demand, we produce 50,000 units. The second quarter, we have 150,000 demand, so we produce 150,000. Third quarter, we have 200,000 worth of demand, so we, we produce 200,000. In the fourth quarter, we have 52,000, and so we produce 52,000. Notice we're chasing that demand by producing what the demand is. Thus, our inventory for each quarter is zero. So, um, in the first quarter, our regular production, we had 50,000 workers, or 50 workers that could produce 50,000 of regular production. So we don't need to hire anybody in the first quarter. We don't need to fire anybody. In the second quarter, our demand is 150,000, so we need to bump up the number of workers and hire 100 people who can produce 1,000 pairs of skis each to get our production up to 150,000. In the third quarter, our demand is 200, so we're going to produce 200, so we need 200 workers. Previously, we had 150, so we need to hire 50 more. 
In the fourth quarter, we only need 52,000 pairs of skis. So what this means is we've got to fire 148 workers. We were at 200, and we're going to bump them down. So we need to lay off 148 workers to get it down to 52 workers to produce this amount. So what we're doing, we're assuming that we can hire and fire workers to compensate so that we can have varying levels of production in our plant. So when we add it all up, we've got 452,000 pairs of skis with regular production. Again, that's the same as the previous slide, 22,600,000. We're not carrying inventory this time. We're hiring 150 workers at $100 a piece, 15K. And we're firing 148 workers. The cost, recall, of that was $400 uh, dollars per employee that we're firing. And that's 59200 right there. So when we add it all up, I believe this is the cheapest plan, 22674200 But again, this is assuming that uh, it only costs $400 to lay off uh, each person. And I think we're aware that that's a, a pretty low assumption. It probably costs a lot more to lay off, just in terms of benefits uh, and unemployment and so on, that we have to pay for those people. But then again, this is a seasonal business. Uh, maybe these 148 people know they're going to get laid off in the fourth quarter, and they've got another job or other plans to deal with it. It's just like in the retail industry. Uh, at Christmas time, during the holidays, the retail stores hire a bunch of people, knowing that they're going to lay them off probably in January after the holiday season is over. So thus far, we've talked in, in the first video of the transportation problem, transportation uh, solution method for aggregate planning. In the second video, we've discussed the levels strategy and the chase strategy.